Hello, just want to give you a quick note. Um, in the end of this lecture, when I am diagramming the plays, I, I had my screen set up to where uh, the video portion of the play and then my actual diagram were all on one screen. Um, but Zoom only captured the one screen. So as I'm talking, it'll, and you'll hear me hitting the button. So I'm hitting uh, play and pause uh, to, to see the play and thinking that you could see the play and you could see the diagram, but you're only able to see the diagram. So I apologize about that. But they are the plays that I did draw up, the plays that I diagram, they are plays that um, are shown in the beginning of the lecture. Um, the first play with Drake, and I think maybe the second to the last play, I believe, is Texas A&M. Um, so if you want to take a look at it um, while I'm drawing it up, you can, you can do it that way as well. All right. So this week, we're going to work on, um, well, just looking at some out-of-bounds plays. Um, and this will be quick, uh, out-of-bounds, baseline out-of-bounds, sideline out-of-bounds. And then we're gonna work on diagramming plays and then your assignment for this week will you have to diagram your own plays, which we'll go through. Uh, I'll show you how to do that at the end of this lecture. So, you know, this box set that you see here from the team in blue, that's Drake. Um, they, like this is kind of like a, you know, you have a box set, you have a line set. So this box set is kind of like a normal baseline out of bounds set. Um, and a lot of times what you can see in this action, number 50 down here, um, that's on the block closest to the ball. She's gonna come and set a cross screen and then she's gonna go back to the ball. So a lot of box action and based on out of bounds has to deal with setting the screen and then coming back to the basketball. So see here, watch 50, sets the screen. Let's go right back. All right, so she sets the screen on 41 and then she gets in front, seals her out and then they, Easy finish there. Here's from one of our games. So we do the same thing, with one of our plays, um, except, uh, you know, we screen up as opposed to doing a cross screen. And here, it, like, you know, 45, that's Lizzie, she has the option. So normally, after she sets the screen, um, she'll pop out, but because they switched it, now she recognizes that they're switching it. She has a guard on her, so now she's just going to roll right back to the basket. All right, so again, box set. Here's another box set play that we have, all right? And then this is to get one of our best, best uh, scores in an isolation type situation. So we just pass the ball over. The person that just took the ball out of bounds, they're going to run through a screen up at the top of the key, and you're going to see the camera angle change. So she, we're gonna run her through the screen at the top of the key, but the reason we do that is now to isolate number one. So she could make this pass up here, but we really wanna isolate um, Sydney Stavis, who's you know, our best one-on-one -on -one player. And look at her going through the screen, she's gonna take the defense uh, uh, with her. And then Sydney just, we put her in a position just to go and make a play, All right? So box set, take him out. Now she has this, this inside, uh, entire side of the court and she makes she finishes gets the end one all right so this set here is hard to see with the with the angle but um you can't see the guy the guy right here number one for little rock he's gonna kind of fake a screen and then run off a screen and and that's again that's another common action with baseline out of bounds action so he's like he's about to set a screen here for number number 20 all right it's looking like he's gonna set a screen and then he runs hard off a screen and just a, a good finish there. Really, really good finish. Let's watch it one more time. It's coming off the screen. Good finish there. All right, we're gonna see something just like it. Now watch Iowa here. Um, number five, okay. He's coming off like he's gonna set this screen, watch his body, like he's setting the screen, nope. And then he comes off the screen. Again, let's go back and watch that again. So he's like, he's about to set a screen. He fakes that setting of the screen. His guy gets caught up. They set a down screen here. Good shot. That's good action right there. All right, now, Tennessee, they have a box set, but now they've widened it out, all right? So now it's wide. Again, they, with them doing this and they're playing man-to-man -man defense, they're taking their defender 
away from the play. So now it's basically like three on three down here. And you have um, a good amount of court that these three defenders have to have to cover. And really it's kind of two on two. Great job here. There's no helps defense on the back side. It's only these players right here. The fake actually is what gets it open. Like, you know, he probably, the guy was looking for an alley right here. He didn't get it. But the fake made the defense move. And then he was able to get there and, and get the easy finish. I tell you, as a coach, you feel really good about yourself when you're able to, to score like that. All right, now, here's a sideline out of bounds. Pass up to 25. And then and a lot of this is deception, too. Like, watch number four. The four is acting like, you know, like he doesn't know what's going on. Right? He knows this screen is coming, but he doesn't want to alert his defender to it. So it's a flash screen on the backside. Boom, in the last second, he takes off. Good screen set here. Probably could have been a little bit of a better pass. Um, and then he gets an a open look out, out of it. But number four just does a really good job of being deceptive here. Like, he just pops out like, hey, and then boom, comes off of it. So a lot of it about basketball is just really just being deceptive. And timing and all those things play a, a big role. And no matter how great you draw it up on the board, timing is a big key. Let's watch Texas A&M here. Great, great play call here. All right, so it looks like they have four, almost like four guards on the court. So we pop out here. Look at this, this movement down here between these three guards down here in the paint. All right, all of that is just kind of dummy. Just to get the defense moving, they forget about their help side principles. The person that's guarding number three, he should stay in the paint because the ball is way on the other side of the court, which we'll discuss when we get into our defensive principles uh, pretty soon. But he goes way out because of that action. That action keeps him occupied. He goes way out. So now there's no help on the pick and roll. And this is just easy. I mean, that's just that's just easy right there. Look at all this, this dummy action right here. I call it dummy action because it's – look at that. Like they're just moving, moving. Defense is staying with them. Thinking their options. They're not real options. They're, they're just decoys. Now there's no help side because – He's sticking to number three, and that's just good basketball, good play draw up. All right, so now they're kind of in their sideline out of bounds again. Now they're in a box set. Again, the box is, is used a lot. And now we're going to isolate that person, bucket there. All right, let's go back. Watch this. So the top person pops out. They swing it across. And now this is for the person that's coming in that made the inbounds pass. This happens a lot too. Set this cross screen. Now she's isolated in the post. Easy basket. All right. You're going to see another bo uh, box action here. And again, the same thing is to isolate. It's, it's really the isolated player. And just a rip through. That's just, that's just, just easy. But this is uh, my alma mater, North Carolina a and and they, um, I've watched a couple of their sideline out of bounds. They got this pretty often. So they set the cross, the, the down screen. She sprints out to the corner. And then it's just a hard rip and go. Help defense in bad, in a bad situation. And she's able to finish there. Really, really good finish. All right. So what we'll do, um, I'll pull up my diagramming app, and then I'll show you how to diagram it. Um, you will, when you do your assignment, you'll have to, you know, draw it in with a pen or a pencil. Um, but the, the diagrams and the legend, all of that is there for you to be able to complete the assignment. Okay, so we're going to learn how to diagram plays. Um, this legend, which I will include in the assignment, but... It is already up there. It's, it's in your, if you go on the files in Canvas, you'll be able to see it. Um, a one or a digit <clears throat> um, is the position of the player. One is the point guard, two is the shooting guard, three is the small forward, um, four is the power forward or the stretch forward, and then five is the post player or the center. 
Um, if there's a circle, you put a circle around it, that means they have the ball. Uh, if there's an X with a, 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 a number beside it, um, that lets you know that's the defender and that's what position they are defending. A dotted line represents a pass. Um, this like hashtag represents uh, handoffs. A uh, line with a with a bar at the end represents screens. Um, a, a solid line with the arrow represents player movement, and then the zigzag represents a dribble. Um, so that's just something before we get started of of like what we're gonna of just the legend and when you draw up your own plays, what you'll need to do in order to to draw up your own plays. Um, now we're gonna go back and look at the first play from I think it was uh from Drake and we're gonna draw we're gonna draw that play up. All right, so we have our play from Drake over here um, to the left and I'm gonna draw this up. I have software for it, but again, this is something that you'll be able to do with uh with pen and paper. And again, I have the blank diagrams up there. So we'll start off, um, and let's give uh, the three the ball. Okay, so we'll say we have the three taking the ball out of bounds. We have uh, the five on this block. We have the four on this block. And then we have uh, our one over here and our two right here. All right, so this is the fir first frame. This is frame one. All right, so as we go to draw up the play, we'll draw up just this, this first part of it, okay? So I have um, right here, the five is coming up, the set of screen. So um, on my software here, I just draw, have a line with a bar at the end of it. Um, if we go back, we see that five or the f well number five which is the four um they're getting out of the way and then my point guard at the top left of the of the uh square they're backing out okay so we can represent that with the arrow going this way so we got the one coming out and then we have the four going out that way and then actually let's uh yeah we'll just have it going this way it's a two it's a couple of different ways you can draw this all right so if we're gonna do this on we'll do this one on two frames and then we have the two we'll um we'll cut off of the five this way all right of course i like i said i have my my nice little software here but it'll be the same thing for when uh, you draw it up okay so this is the first part of the play okay and so that represents this action right to here okay so it's two ways you can do this you could draw it all on one frame or and I think I want you, I want you to move frames, uh, and so I'm gonna fast build this thing out. So now I can't like this is the first frame. Now I'm on the frame two, okay. And then the way I'll show frame two is, is how everything ends. So I will have this point guard here. They come over to this. They cut over here to this corner. This two once they don't get it, they pop out. Okay, give it a little bit shorter than that. And then we have our four over here. They're gonna cut up to the top and take their defender with them. All right, they're cutting out to this area out here. And then our five, they dive right back towards the basket. And then the last piece is we have a pass here from our three to our five. All right, and look, let's see here on the left, 
Boom, there it is. All right. So that's how you can represent that in two frames. Now, if I wanted to represent all of that in one frame, this is what I would. This is how I would uh, adjust what I have over here. And let's go back. Let's watch this again here on the left. So they go through here, go down. All right. So the way I would represent this all in one, um, you could. I would add this little mark right here. So I would have the screen being set and then add, add the cut back here. Um, you could, with, with this one, you could make it all one motion. I mean, you can make it two different motions. So first they go here and then the second action is out there. Um, or you can do it like this. You can delete here, delete here. And uh, we can make it like a, I think we can make this angle work. So it's like they're cutting off the screen. You have two cutting off the screen. And then it's like, if they don't get it, they'll pop out here. You can do the same thing with one, make it an angle. So that first action is uh, coming up. They come, they come up first and then they cut over here and then you can do the same thing um, with, uh, with four over here. So their first action is out and then they cut up there, right? So you can rep and then, oh, we got to add our pass at the end. So you can represent that in a couple of different ways. If you see here, this is all kind of like, you know, it can be kind of confusing. Whereas if we, um, you know, with all that being on one frame, like that can be confusing, okay? Um, but if we take all of this away and we go back and we do it uh, for two frames, like we had it set up from the, from the jump, All right, so if we have it set up like this, this is a little bit more clear. We have that happens, and then the next thing happens is this. Like that's a little bit more clear to see as opposed to drawing it all on um, on one frame. All right, and then we'll do one side out of bounds play um, as well, just to give you another example of of what to do. All right, so this next play, uh, we'll do a side out of bounds um, that we saw from Texas A&M. So we'll just call this A&M. And that's the thing, when you do this, you're gonna need to name these as well. Um, so let's, all right. So let's say, I say we just have our point guard taking it out here. We'll put our five right here. Um, it's hard to tell what positions everyone is playing for them, but we'll do it like this. Looks like the two started over here by this block, and the three started over here by this wing. All right. So if we slow it down a little bit, we'll see that it starts with this little like slice screen right here. So we have four setting this screen here. Five coming up off the screen. And then um, we have uh, the two cutting underneath here, underneath the basket, to this side of the court. And then we have our three cutting as well. And they're gonna kind of like exchange to the other side of the court, all right? So, and then let's make the pass. 
to our one. I mean, I'll pass to our five here to here. All right, and then we'll we'll go on to the next frame. Okay. So here, our the person that made the pass in bounds, they come right, they come, they run in. All right, and um, our five will make a little pass to them. All right, so we can represent that right here. All right, and this could have been represented on the other frame too. You know, we could have got the gotten the pass right back on the, on the other frame. Um, matter of fact, let's let's do it that way. I think it'll make more sense. So we have five making. Uh, we we'll, we can see here that one is making the pass in, and then they're stepping back in to receive it, and then. Um, five makes the pass back, All right? So, and you can you can follow that. Pass comes, they cut, and then the pass goes right back. All right. So, let's uh, we'll delete this here. We'll put one. We'll move it along. Give one the ball. All right. So now the cuts. Uh, we had three, three cut and got out of the way over here all right let's look at it yep so they get out of the way over here as you see that's um on the play that's number zero on the screen so he gets out of the way and really kind of cuts right back up right back up um to this to this wing area four decides they want to pop back out and for these you do not have to draw the uh the defense okay and then our two they kind of pop back out so the four pops out to like that slot this uh slot area and then the two uh they go more to the wing area right here all right now we represent, we show five, and we can give five like this, a small, you know, they, they, he didn't really move too much once he passed the ball back to him. Okay, and so he's setting this screen. All right, this will be our first time showing the dribble. So we have one coming off of, and you see the zigzag lines represent the dribble. So one is coming off of that screen um off of the 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 um ball screen and let's put yeah and then we have um five after they set the ball screen then we have uh five rolling right off of that to the basket and then we finish it with the pass and uh let's get them going a little bit more to the basket here because it was an alley All right and we called it a and m so we have our first frame four sessions cross screen on the slice screen uh for the five five Cuts up top, one paces, passes the ball to the five, five passes right back to the one, two and three, two cuts underneath the basket, three cuts to the, the weak block. We fast forward it, three keeps cutting all the way to the strong side wing, two is going to pop out to the weak wing, four is going to pop out to the weak slot, five sets the ball screen for the one, one comes off, five cuts to the basket, make the pass there. And again, you have it shown in two frames, okay? So you'll do this on your own. Um, I, like I said, you'll, that's, I think six frames on the sheet and 
you will draw your plays out. I want you to name them. You'll have uh, two based on out of bounds plays that you have to draw out, and then two sideline out of bounds plays that you have to draw out. You can make the plays up yourself, or you can find them online, right? You can find them online um, and, and do it. Um, but you can't, I don't want you to use any software or I don't want you to copy and paste. I want you to actually draw it out by hand yourself. And um, you can do use, use Adobe Scan or any type of way to scan it in, to turn it in as a file. You can take a picture of it if you want to, to, to turn that in as a file, like a, a, um, as long as you know I, I can read it. Um, Adobe Scan will probably be the best way to do it. You can do Adobe Scan on your phone turn it into a PDF and then use that to kind of upload, upload the files. But two baseline out of bounds plays and then two um, sideline out of bounds plays. And, and that'll be your assignment for the week.